Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Roy Keen card to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5 foot 11, medium high work rates, right footed, 3 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Hopefully there's a loan version of this card. They have been doing that for some of the icons, so yeah. Uh, player traits, he has flare passes, swerve pass, flare traits. Okay, so from what we're looking at with this card, agility, low, balance. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, EA. This is very important stuff to do because you have to understand how the meta of your game works, okay? If this is a card that's medium high and he's, you know, somewhat of a taller player, it's definitely going to make a lot of sense for you to make him a lengthy player. So they have formatted this card really nicely. I can make him a shadow chemistry style player on a lengthy, which is great. You know, he's going to have 89 acceleration with a 92 for sprint speed and his defensive stats will be in a very, very good area. Uh, shooting capabilities don't care about four star weak foot. Definitely a huge plus to have passing on the card. Also in a very good area for the card with a four star weak foot at a 95 for composure. So W there as well. And then for dribbling capabilities, Sure, he has a 75 for agility, but the agility part of the card is very helpful when it comes to him having a higher strength to make him a lengthy player for the height that he's working with. So they've done a combination of a lot of very good things on this card. I'm still going to give him a shadow chemistry style because I need my players to be as good defensively as possible if they're going to be playing in that general area. OK, so good pace, good defense on a lengthy uh, physical on the card. All going to be in the 90s, uh, 90s area. 99 aggression is pretty saucy. So hopefully uh, this card actually has some pretty good defensive animations. There is potential to use a card like this at center back. But if you're being a little bit more serious in the game, uh, you probably want a little bit higher pace on a lengthy in the center back position, right? Like if you're being a little bit more serious. Um, okay, cool. So let me go ahead and hopefully, please tell me you got an SPC loan card. Be good to me. Gonzalo Gedges here. That's going straight to the main account. Bro, check out the stuff that they give you on this. So, did, did they give me this? I didn't have this before, did I? Oh, but I'm getting like sick fodder right now. Yo, I need this stuff. Thank you. SBC account or review account. <gasps> oh, I got to choose one of these cards. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's got to be the Yaya Tore, I'm assuming, right? Anywho, guys, uh, we put a quick team together over here. Um... Yeah, it's uh, let me see this 433 again for this. There's one instruction for the center mid that's not it's stay back, and then there's the get forward. Okay, so we, what we could do is Tonali here and Boppers. Um, Pedro, Pedro, we have to put no, eh, not put Pedro there. Yeah, we'll just use the 433, see what he's like defensively, all that good stuff. Let's go see what he's like. Okay. It's, we're playing foot champs, but I, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, see what he's like defensively, so. People are less prone to leave in foot champs, you know? Yeah, give me that. Run, a little angled run. Force that. Touch, force it again. Little Pedro Zito. Oh, I thought that was going to be a scoop turn, man. Sometimes you just don't know. Ooh, give me that. Oof. Good turn as well. That was actually solid. Yeah, good. The length he actually pushes him. That's solid. No! He almost got the reach there, though. Almost got it. He almost gets the little reach there as well. Yeah, it gets the block off there. Oh, I was about to say, none of my players are going to respond to that? Like, come on, guys. It's like a slow ball there. I had to spam to get it out of there. We got the initial block there. Guys, I think this guy's cheating. He has no cursor on his head. I think he's cheating. Still a thing, huh? No foul? I'll tell you that. Takes a long shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's cheating, guys. Who did he just take that long shot with? With Ben Rama. There's no cursor, so. But don't worry, the results I don't care about. Like I just we're just checking him out, right? So. 
Intercept that real quick. Take that real quick. Nicely done. Oh, of course I had the pulse against the guy that's cheating. Almost gets the reach there. Ooh, with the weak foot too. Hey, we'll take that goal at least. I'm not like super tryhard in this 4-3-3. It's not like a super meta formation. But um, I just kind of don't want him to win in a way, you know? Lengthy. Oh, the lengthy does push him, guys. The lengthy does push him. Oh, that definitely should be mine for sure. That's like good manual defending, but ED, what did he? Oh, I thought I was going to get to that. Unlucky. Almost, almost. His turns aren't too bad. The lengthy is definitely working out well for him, for sure. Definitely a welcome thing to have. Oh, I thought the second man press could have done something, maybe. Good goal, good goal. You see, it's all AI. He just he he allows them to do the whole thing there. No, Keen. Yeah. So you had a feeling he's gonna make that extra pass. Now I got the lengthy. I'm gonna do this. Wait for the run. Oh, good, good block, good block. Actually, he actually needed that because that would have been some space to work with there. No, come on. Good. See the lengthy, the lengthy pushes him, boys. You can see the fake shot. I totally do a fake shot there. Yeah, it's consistent too. Look at that. See, still on top of the guy. It's good. down yeah just want to be in the general area again good 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 very good yeah so so far with the keen card um i know i'm saying this on a consistent basis but the lengthy part of the card is helping it out a lot this is why i kept mentioning it in the past with the um gattuso card if they, if they formatted a certain way it definitely would have been very helpful um it makes the card way more usable for the meta of the gameplay right um definitely feels like i gotta use them in more like confined space excuse me more like um like a four two three one in this four three three that sandro tonali card is like a really good example of someone to use for that type of formation but yeah it's good to try him out on the open space to see how consistent he is to defend the general spaces right like that oh pressure it's kickoff so you know how it goes yeah i had a feeling he's gonna go up l trigger shield there we go through ball downwards nice Ball roll pass, wait for the Mbappe, pass it back, build up the play slowly. We got a runner here. Yeah, I gotta wait for those little spaces. Mbappe's got that attacking AI for you, you know what I'm saying? He's the only card in the game that plays the way that he does at striker, I'm telling you. it's the, There's nobody that touches this guy. Let's go. 
Let's go. I need to break his legs. 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 Keen, where's Keen? Keen's the perfect guy for the break in the legs. I gotta break legs. I gotta break legs. Offside traps. Break legs. Break him. There you go. Go downwards. There you go. Go on the inside. Little L trigger. Go back. Go back. Gotta wait for it. I'm gonna hold the area. Oh. It's driven past. Now with Akimi moving into the advanced position. Well, nothing oh, well positioned for that. Hakimi. Oh, I knew it too. So I try to go for the aggression there. Yes, AI. AI, my boy. Oh, dude, if he was on side, he was on. He was slightly. He tried to get back on there. He did try to go back on. Oh, nice, nice. Look at Tonali, bro. One of the best valued SBCs, boys. Yes. Hey, you know what? Break his legs, Keen. I need it. For a kickoff, break his legs. Thank you very much, sir. Look, he's breaking everybody's legs, bro. He's really playing to, to Keen, you know, a Keen capability. Oh, had that. Oh, he's heading the air, guys. The air? Bro, the air. He had a problem with the air, boys. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got the hype for it. Uh, he's going to have a little bit of emphasis on him. That's, that's to be seen, obviously. Yeah, I have to go for a clearance there so I can actually jump a little higher. Ooh, animation. I have to do FIFA mechanics to score. Ah, man. Thank you, Keen. Thank you. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Keen card. So, guys, listen, uh, with this card on a Shadow Chemistry style, uh, this is just a well-formatted card for what he's going to offer in-game, okay? So, a lot of the things that are noticeable uh, pre-game are noticeable in-game, right? So, them giving him a lengthy accelerate with the acceleration and sprint speed that he has is very helpful when it comes to defending with this card. If you want to use him in the center back position, you could totally use him there. I'm not saying that you can't, right? But obviously, if you're going for like the top tier meta cards, like the Salibas, all those types of guys, like I always tell you guys, the back four needs to be full meta no matter what. In this game, it needs to be full meta, okay? I tell you all the time. But if you want to use him there, you totally could. Uh, CDM position is definitely going to be the best area for this card. You know, he has really good animations when it comes to defending the pace is well formatted for a lengthy accelerate this card's shooting and all that kind of stuff i don't really care for because the whole point of using this card is to defend in your team and that's what he's very solid at doing positioning wise he did a very good job for me um medium high work rates works well for him average body type as a midfielder to offer some physical presence is also great um the only other problem that you will sometimes come up against is obviously people using the pressure tactics which ea have never adjusted the entire year but it is what it is uh, the pressure tactic when it comes to a card like this, because of the 80, uh, 75 agility with the average body type at 5 foot 11, uh, sometimes, you know, he'll do a drag touch or like it, 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 he'll do drag touches in certain situations where you're not going to want that drag touch, especially since there's that pressure on him. Right. But that's being really nitpicky because he is a CDM to defend in your team for the most part. Right. So you don't really care too much about that type of stuff. Um, I think what's really nice about this card is that on a lengthy what I also noticed is the 99 aggression of the card, right? So the length he pushes his pace, but then he also has a 90 for strength and a 99 for aggression to push him even further. So comparison wise, as an icon that has been released, this card for me personally is better to use than Gattuso's card, right? These cards, I feel like play in the meta of the game way better. Uh, it's a well formatted card and they did it to the specifics too, right? Because you could see that the agility is at a 75 and then the 90 for strength. So they literally did it at a 15 because they know that the lengthy is what's going to make this card way more usable in the meta of the gameplay. So this SBC, in my opinion, makes way more sense to get over the Katuso SBC. 
um, because I feel like he just plays in the meta way better, right? That lengthy will push the card to uh, have better pace as well. And obviously with the average body type, 5'11 height, good physical stats, all of that works really well together too. So it's a very, very solid CDM option that you have to work with depending on how you are building your team, 100%. For me, definitely over the Gattuso card, for sure. Uh, but guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.